Would you like some trading tips on how to best use limit orders in order to get into your forex trades at a better price? If you would, listen up, got some great tips to share with you. Hi Forex Traders, it's Andrew Mitchum here, the Forex Trading Coach, coming today from beautiful Queenstown in the South Island of New Zealand. And as you can see behind me here, it's just a stunning evening here. I uh, love this place, one of the best places in the world, and it's just so great to be here and to be able to trade. Uh, I've just been trading daily charts, and on Monday I took some weekly chart trades, and, uh, and in my evening I'm looking at six hours and 12 hour charts, that's it, probably no more than about 20 minutes of chart looking per day, and uh, personally so far this week I'm up nearly 2%, so uh, got to be very happy with that. But on to today's subject, um, I had a, an email from Raphael and Raphael said, hey Andrew, can you talk about how to best use limit orders in order to get in at the best price? Can you also talk about support and resistance levels and why the price quite often bounces at those levels and how we can take advantage of that? So support and resistance levels can be many things. They can be previous highs, previous lows. They can be round numbers such as zero zeros and 50s, such prices ending in zero zero and 50. Uh, look for those on your charts and you can draw those with horizontal lines quite easily on your charts. And you would just be amazed how often the price does bounce at those levels. It will come very close to a zero zero level. It will come all the way down and it will bounce and go back up again. No different to uh, you going into a shop and buying something for $9.99 or, or $9.99. $99, you know, things like that. It's psychological bounce levels and forex traders, we take that into account so often and it's amazing how often price does bounce at those levels. So when you're looking at entering a trade, look at those levels, draw them on your chart, see where there's been previous swing highs and lows because what you quite often find is when you have support and resistance levels, and don't forget that support levels are priced below the current price, that means that the support means that if price goes down to that level, it could be supported at that level and it may well bounce back again. However, if it breaks through that support level, it quite often goes and seeks the next support level, which will be the next major level below that. Whereas resistance is a level above the current price and price will quite often get to that level and it could stall at that price, it could then retrace a bit. Uh, but if it does break through that level, then it's quite likely to go up to the next resistance level, wherever that may be on your chart. So it's really important that you have a good understanding of where to draw support and resistance levels. Um, I use a, an indicator which draws them on my charts automatically for me and uh, and it just makes life so much easier but you can also just see those levels on your charts yourself and manually draw them on if you need to but um, what I'm looking at doing is if I'm taking a buy trade let's say rather than entering right directly into the market at the live price what I quite often do is take a buy limit so I'm looking for the price to retrace first and looking for it to bounce offer one of those support levels and then head back up into the direction that I'm looking for the market to head in overall. Likewise, if I'm taking a, a sell trade, I won't jump in at the market straight away at the sell price. I'll look for it to retrace back further and then look to get in at that retracement level and then look for the price to head down. So draw support and resistance levels on your charts. It gets you into price, uh, sorry, into the, uh, into, the, into the market at a far better price, which then means that um, you generally you'll find that your reward to risk so what you'll make out of the trade is generally a far higher uh, return than if you were just entering straight at the market um, of course sometimes you may have to accept that you miss out because the uh, the price may not retrace far enough to get you into your predetermined level and that's just part of trading you just accept that if the price doesn't retrace enough you just miss out on the trade and you don't get filled. Um, but if you do get that fill and then the market turns around and heads in your um, ideal direction, what you find is you get some great returns from your trades. So I hope that helps. If you have questions like this, just uh, send me an email, andrew at theforextradingcoach.com. And uh, this time next week, I'll uh, be bringing you a video from Adelaide in South Australia. Look forward to talking to you then.